Logiforms makes the integration process easy. You can embed a Logiforms form onto your website in minutes. The wizard walks you through the process, and then it is copy and paste. Let's take a look at some of the integration options. From the form designer, click the integration button to launch the integration wizard. By default, our most popular option, Embedded, is selected, and all the defaults are set, so you may not need to change a thing. Let's look at Embedded, and we can come back to look at the other options afterwards. The next screen in the Embedded Integration Wizard asks you if you want to use Dynamic or the basic non-JavaScript version. We recommend you use the default Dynamic option, unless you have a specific need for the basic option. The Dynamic option supports automatic resizing of the frame, and offers the ability to pass values through from the parent page to the embedded form. The next screen asks for some general settings. In most cases, the defaults work well, but you may want to experiment with the auto height option. If you know the height of your form, you can set auto height to false and enter the height of your form. But if you're not sure, or if your form consists of multiple pages where the height changes between those pages, we recommend you leave the auto height setting to true. Click next and you're finished. The code is now available. Click Preview to launch a live preview of your custom integration code on a sample website. Scroll down and you'll see the form embedded. You can even test the submission form here. Another useful feature is the ability to pass values into the form to pre-populate the fields. Click Add URL params and set the values you want to pre-populate the form with. For this example, we'll pre-populate the field's name and email with their corresponding values. You can preview this to see this working before you integrate with your site. Once you're happy with the integration, just copy the code to your clipboard and paste it onto your website. You can even save the settings for later use. Now let's go back and look at the pop-up window integration. With the pop-up window integration method, you can choose to use a lightbox or a normal browser pop-up window. Let's take a look at the lightbox option. Choose lightbox overlay and click next. You can configure the width and height of the lightbox, the border color, and animation options. On the show options screen, determine how you want the window to be shown. You can display a button, a text link, or show the window automatically after a time delay. For this example, we're going to use the button option. Now we can customize all the properties of our button. Let's choose a nice green button, and then select the left top sticky button option. This will align our button on the left side of the window and make it sticky. We can preview our button and change the text on the button itself. When you're happy with the button, click Next. On the limited show option screen, you can configure if you want to hide the button after the submission or after the lightbox window is closed. Click Next again and the code is generated. You can now copy and paste it anywhere on your web page and the sticky button will be shown. Let's check this out with the preview. As you can see, our custom button is shown aligned on the side and stays in place as we scroll. When it's clicked, our form opens in a lightbox with the border color we selected. We can submit the form and the result message is shown. As with the other integration options, it's simply copy and paste to get this live on your site. It couldn't be easier to integrate Logiforms into your website.